Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to do a quick portrait of He-Man. And as you know that this is a very, very beloved pop culture icon. I'm putting in an oval right here, a line right here along that oval, putting in an arc, putting in a shoulder, another shoulder, I'm putting in an arc like that for the arm. Arm, so it's a straightforward pose as far as we are concerned in this particular video. So eyes, nose, mouth, chest will be somewhere around there and then the torso somewhere around here so we are going to sketch He-Man and again I'm using a generic superhero proportions be it the face so I gave him a, an extra line there, just as a guideline for myself. This is where we go about adding the proportions that will really bring him out as E-Man. So I'm going to put in that huge chest first and as you see that if you google I change the the thickness of the shoulder there because I felt I had him not as bulky in that part some neck muscles there and then now when it comes to He-Man I envision a barbarian like character so I'm going to go about somewhere like that so that's not a necessarily realistic arm, it is more than normal, but in the recent comics medium, he's been depicted to be big and probably even bulkier than somebody like Superman. So I am following a medium between the two and I'm going to give him the slacks that he 
recently done in the comics and then we move on to the arm on the other side And that's it. I've done a quick sketch there. Now the important aspect is this in the middle. Now in the recent comics he's been I think the most recent crossovers with DC he has had new fatigues but we are going to stick with the old ones and give him those straps that he loves to wear and they will run along the torso something like that and give it a true dimension give the straps here another dimension where you can and then Right in the middle, we have that famous. So I would go about like this. So let's put down an octagon first. You have the octagon in place, and then right around, you can just come in so much and round it off there. And then you could give that two dimensions as well. There is this famous, uh, call it the He-Man logo, his wristbands which actually vary according to the medium and now I could have him holding the power sword here but it makes more sense if it is held aloft so I'm going to for now put the power sword back there but if you wish to have him hold it very easy exercise so just do that go right through so come right through straight in between According to this angle, make sure that it's slanting here more than up there. And let's just have those things come in like that. That is if you wish to go with the power sword in his hand. And there we have it. We have a quick sketch of the mighty He-Man and although my version doesn't have to be the one that you have to go with, it is definitely a very generic version. Now on his belt he has these things and then he has another raised layer of the belt like that and the rest you could either give him shorts if you wish or you could give him the new fatigues that he wore as I mentioned in the DC Comics outing now the another important part of this is of course giving him some more muscle so I'm going to go with a vein along there. I'm going to put in a vein running along right there. And the delts, of course, is like just basic anatomy. 
running into the packs. He'll have those nipples there, he'll have the serratus muscles showing. And of course he will have those abs. So I'm just happy that I touched upon this guy and uh, oh and in here in the armbands you could really go any of which way you do not have to follow any said Eternian principles you could give you can go wild give him your own design but if you make it only that complex that you are able to shade it uh, easily as well so I forgot one important element of those traps he has those raised should I call them boxes going along so there it is a quick sketch of He-Man if you stick around I'm going to uh, finish off uh, the remainder of this with some quickly put in cross hatching and shading.